Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 in our Losing Yawn Dynasty roleplay series. It's been a while since we played, guys, uh, so let's just jump back into it. Uh, we are going to be uh, coming to an end of this series soon. I have an ending in mind uh, if thing, everything goes the way I, I would like it to, so, you know, obviously it's the CK2, so things could happen crazily. Uh, you never know what might end up happening, but where we can kind of get moving towards that goal of mine for what I'd like to do for, you know, completing the series, we do have to finish up this crusade. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We got our queen on crusade right now. And uh, I've, I've signed leaders here. However, I'd like to assign our son just so he can get the crusader trait. And it would make sense that he would probably get brought along. Uh, and that does increase his martial, gives him a lot of bonuses. And because we assigned him and this is a role play and not just about, you know, uh, just picking the most optimum things it makes sense that if she would bring him along he would then be a commander uh so he's gonna command our, our uh right flank despite the fact that he sucks because uh, that's uh, what i think she would do uh so who will lead the right flank and i think we're still waiting on units if i'm not mistaken uh yeah they i think their units aren't here we're still waiting on a large part of our army actually uh so we're just gonna stay here and, and besiege this province down uh this already is at 11 percent so i wouldn't be surprised if this is over soon i'm not really seeing well there actually are still quite a few large armies out there uh, but overall i think the crusaders are going to win on this one uh, so let's just go and let it go we'll go ahead and slow it down just a tad bit all right as we kind of uh wait for our ships here uh we did just finish up that siege as well excellent uh so we're contributing to the conflict uh, i think we might be getting assistance here as well in fact i think this is not going in our hands Oh, no, it is. Okay. It did go in our hands. Awesome. I uh, just wanted to make sure that we were getting it. Uh, and, yeah, we'll go ahead and siege down the rest of their stuff here while we wait for our full army to get here. Uh, although, we are going to take very high casualties if we have the whole army in one province. Because, uh, yeah, there's so many units here. Uh, I almost... Well, they are leaving. Never mind. All right, we're okay. 30-something uh, thousand dudes here. Uh, they should be going off doing something. Fight somebody. Uh, so... He has secluded himself, okay. Uh, so he can't do anything. Fish, fresh fish straight from the river. Uh, so the clergy's not happy about the merchants setting up stalls and church squares. Uh, they demand that, that it be forbidden. Uh, how do we want to do this then? Uh, so we can say I agree and I think she would do whatever the church wanted. She's very, uh, I think she's very religious. Yeah, she's zealous. Yes, sir, whatever you guys want, I agree. All right, so we should be able to move our units over here. And in fact, we're gonna go and attack that province there. It feels like we have quite enough here. Uh, so sending any more units there, I think would end up causing some issues. So we'll just have them go here. Uh, if we have any commanders available, which I think we should have one that's not currently commanding. Uh, so let's go ahead and place him in direct charge here. I don't think I have any other good uh, commanders available that I can assign, but I guess some would be better than none. So let's go ahead and place these guys just so we can get ourselves a commander. And is this all one army? Yeah, it is all one army. All right, so it's gonna place the two guys we just got into the flanks. All right, so we need to go ahead and get the rest of our ships, uh, rest of our units, excuse me, on our ships. I don't even think they can all load up on here either. Oh, it might take two, two more shipments to get everybody over here. Uh, by then, the crusade will probably be over. All right, so let's just go ahead and speed this up. We got two sieges going right now. We're contributing to the conflict at least a little bit. And mayor is back. And a daughter was born to one of our commanders. Okay. So our son does need to be married off. However, remember, we cannot marry him off yet until we give him land. And we're currently in a crusade right now, so we're not going to worry about it, guys. It's fine. He's young. It's okay. Uh, there's a lot of like young uh, women out there as well uh, that are not even ready to get married yet and have pretty good positions too. So, of course, we could end up getting beat to it, but I'm not too worried about it. All right, so we're doing these two sieges right now. Another victory, fantastic. I uh, got a lot of money, uh, so we don't have to worry too much about about that. Uh, and let's go ahead and make sure our troops get onto the uh, to the ships here. And let me just see here. I want to embark them. However, it does seem there's a problem because of the attached units. Can I say I don't want any units attached here so that I can... Okay, that's fine. We don't have to embark them. We can do it this way. I, I couldn't embark them because the ships weren't in port. Psh, I'm a dummy. 
So let's go. They could have gone for it anyway. I guess it's not ours. <laughs> let's get these guys going over here. Oh lord. Silliness. Silliness of plenty. For some time now, my lo Oh, wait a minute. I didn't know she had a lover. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay then. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea that our queen was uh, had a lady lover. Elizabeth over here, lowborn lover. Uh, and she is actually married to our commander. And that's who the daughter was just born. Maybe that's why we got notified of that. All right. Is she our bastard? <laughs> you would think that the game would have a check on that. That uh, two females couldn't have a child together, but I don't know. Uh, so, uh, for some time now, my lover Elizabeth has been avoiding me. She has not visited my bedchamber for several weeks. When I have demanded to know why she has given me nothing but feeble excuses, today I overheard a couple of her servants gossiping. They said Elizabeth has contracted syphilis. Oh, Lord. I will show that vile, chi that vile child what I do with traitors. Uh, so we can imprison her for getting syphilis. Uh, the poor thing, I'll do what I can for her. Uh, you bl shouldn't believe everything you hear. Surely there's a reason. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Fish is temperate. She's kind. Yeah, I don't think she would do that. Uh, let's just say the poor thing, I'll do what I can for her. Hopefully she doesn't get the syphilis. Playing with each other's vaginas. So I've received a request for additional funds from my spy master, and we are going to say... And what does he want it for? To make, uh, he's worried that it's too easy for spies to make their way inside your home. Wants to take precautionary measures against hostile operations. Yeah, let's go ahead and start defenses. And that reminds me also that we wanted to get the last thing here for the Great Works. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the trap door, guys. The arrest chance just seems like it'd be super useful to have. Because, uh, you know, if you think about it, you know, arrest an account, you know, isn't that difficult. And if he rebels, then you only have to fight a count. But when you start getting some powerful dukes and stuff, uh, then it would be really nice to have a higher chance of arresting them. Uh, and then the court size cost, that actually is very beneficial. Negative 1%, I mean, our, our, our court is very expensive uh, now. That's a big chunk of your money. Uh, so that would actually be uh, pretty beneficial in the long run. Maybe not quite as much as some of these ones that give bonuses to the uh, the tax. You have the 5% tax modifier there. Uh, I thought there's another one, maybe not. But 5% tax modifier might bring in slightly more money. I'm not entirely sure, but... Yeah, I think that the, with the arrest chance, it makes this one better. Uh, we also have other options that I'd like the dueling room with the personal combat skill, but yeah, I think this one's the best one. So let's go with a trap door. And that'll be the last one we can get, guys. We can't get any further ones, I think. Uh, so I'm going to build that up. And did we get our troops over here yet? No, they're right there. All right, victory. Excellent. So they, are, they do have a little bit of an army coming. Uh, let's go ahead and take our army and put them here, I suppose. Uh, they're going to take a lot of attrition, but have all these been taken? They have not. Then what we'll do instead is have them come here since these guys are retreating at this point. And I, I don't think they would be able to win uh, against these attacks. We've got 25,000 there, 20,000 there. So yeah, I don't think it should be a problem. Yeah, we'll siege all these down, and that's going to be our contribu contribution to this crusade. We'll be sieging down provinces. We did have a offer for a marriage there, but disappeared. We have an open council position, too. We should probably take care of that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this guy appointed. We want a new marshal. Uh, so we assign him. He's currently commanding, so I don't actually want to assign him. He's our commander. So we won't assign him. And all these guys are actually commanders. Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's do this old guy. It's fine. And yeah, we'll have him organize the army or train troops. Or research military tech. We can have him do that as well. Let's have him uh, train troops in the capital, as we've been doing. Okay. So we are losing money fairly quickly. Uh, victory. Uh, we also spent a lot of money as well, I think, doing that great work. Uh, looks like an abandoned battlefield, the dead strewn across the landscape. Okay, so we're going to bury the Crusaders probably. Yeah, I think that's uh, more fitting. For her and she will become charitable okay as i entered the gates i was greeted by a large barking dog my horse was frightened and started to rear i was just about to draw my blade to slay the beast when i saw my spy master come running shouting bad dog this is our friend that we're supposed to protect the dog then stopped barking and rolled over on its back so all right so we'll get the guard dogs modifier get a plot power defense bonus 
Victory. All right, so we're still sieging down provinces here. And they did attack there, but they're going to lose. Yeah, they don't have a chance. So I did get another victory there. Excellent. And we don't have anybody leading this army here. Eh, I'm not too worried about it. I don't think they're going to be doing any attacks, guys. I think that this uh, crusade is just about over. Uh, yeah, it's 78% at this point. Lots of battles going on as well. Uh, large battles here. And we're just continuing to kind of siege down all three of these provinces here. And... I live my life as other women do, navigating its rocks and obstacles, doing my best to achieve success in my endeavors. Still, everything we do takes place in the light of the Lord, and we must take care lest the influence of Satan comes into our lives. Indeed, it is so, and gain piety. I should ponder this more deeply, and then we'll get uh, piety. I think this is from our, yeah, because we're doing the theology focus. Well, let's do this. We'll ponder it more deeply. And we also dragged somebody out of their hole, an unfaithful person. Oh, uh, we dragged a bunch of people out of their holes. All right, so we got a lot of people in our dungeons right now. Maybe we'll sell them out the war after the war. And there we go. The crusade is over. It's very quick, overall. Victorious crusade. And looks like our kinsman did end up getting herself a place over here. Excellent, right here. Uh, the province that she has. Uh, and we are not going to play as her. And we had a weeping statue added to our treasury. Let's take a look at that. Curious what that is. What that gives us. Ooh, nice. Uh, plus 5% tax modifier plus a bit of prestige. Okay, so now we need to get all of our, our people home. Uh, this is going to be a long process. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of time. So we'll get everybody going home, though. But we don't want to disband them here. Because uh, then we won't get our troops back. Uh, we do have the ability to organize a coronation ceremony. Uh, let's go in and get our character home first, and then we'll do that. And it shouldn't take too long, hopefully, to get just just need to get our character into our lands. And yeah, taking attrition there as well, unfortunately. Yeah, so let's get this done. Let's go and move these guys over to here, and then bring the ships back. Steward keeps secluding himself. Okay. Alright, so once we get here, we'll go ahead and disband these guys. And just need to get the rest of them. We'll go ahead and do the coronation ceremony though. Uh, to get this started, since we are having a modifier for not being uh, not having done this yet. Let's go ahead and start that. Uh, if we get the Pope to crown us, we know what he's gonna ask for. But I, I have a feeling that she would want the Pope to crown her. Like, that would be probably fairly important to her, uh, that the Pope crowns her. So if he asks us for it, then we'll give it to him. And we just won't be able to appoint our our uh, religious leaders any longer. Because you know investiture is going to be on his agenda. It always is. Actually, let's go ahead and get the larger army over there first. Uh... Oh, he actually wants to nail the true cross. Okay. Oops. Oh, somebody was asking about the bloodlines, uh, whether that would pass on to Hugh. That did pass on to Hugh. Uh, the Saint Saint Hugh's bloodline did pass on to him. Uh, so, if you're curious, that did pass on to us. Even though it does say that, it, I think it does say that it doesn't go through the women. Yeah, blood is passed on through the male line. That means only male characters can pass the bloodline onto their offspring. But it did, uh, it did pass on uh, to our our son so you know that's fine so let me just take a look at what this what we're giving up here uh, make sure it's not like something really really good yeah it's pretty decent <laughs> all right well there's no way around it he's asking for it at least he didn't ask for the investiture uh, so let's go ahead and give it back to him and this is gonna be an extravagant ceremony we've got a ton of money so that's what we're paying for uh, so let's go ahead and get our army back home and hopefully everybody will attend yeah nobody denying us yet they all want to come because they know it's going to be a splendid party it's only a few more days remain before i'm crowned queen before god and all my subjects my court is filling with distinguished guests both vassals and foreign dignitaries come to bear witness to this fundamental moment of my reign and it'll never be enough uh, organizing such a monumental ceremony has given me the chance to meet the rulers of the realms neighboring us. 
Could we be friends? Yeah, we'll try and be friends with the King of Denmark. Our father was friends with the King of Denmark. Uh, so he's cheerfully accepted our friendship, so we're now close friends. Mayor has decided to pick a fight with me during tonight's feast. For whatever reason, he has come to the conclusion that I am an ungrateful hypocrite. Because we are rivals. Okay. Uh, and we can say we become bitter rivals. Yeah, I hate you too. <laughs> so we'll be bitter rivals. Uh, county in my lands riddled with disease. Yeah, we'll send him there. I mean, it's not like we have an option. And there we go, we have the coronation, and we have gained the trait crowned by the Pope. Alright, awesome, and now we have our crown on our head. And just taking a look uh, here. Yeah, that should increase our piety by quite a bit. So we should be getting piety at a good number at this point. Yeah, we get more piety than we are prestige. Excellent. Apostate found. All right, so we're court chaplain. Uh, burst into our chambers, flanked by several men at arms. So who did he drag in here? Uh, let me just take a look. It is Mayor Richard. All right. Um, so they're thinking he's a warlock. Let's just take a look at him. Just seeing if there's anything that actually indicate that. Are we just? We're kind, diligent, zealous, vicious, temperate, and charitable. So would we burn, burn him? I mean, we're very zealous, and but we're also charitable and kind. Hmm. And yeah, we wouldn't do this one, that's for sure. I uh, could just uh, bring out the branding iron, or throw him in the dungeon. Let's brand him as an apostate. I feel like that's the best way to do it. So we'll brand him. And our troops are here, so let's go and get them moving over there. And then we need to go get our last army. Come on over here. And then we'll be able to start working on what our plans are. Though her traits are kind of causing a little bit of problems though with I think what I wanted to do with her uh, for our uh, for our plan for ending the series. Because yeah, she's not quite the character. I didn't know she was so kind and then she got the, the charitable trait as well. Uh, so that's something to consider. All right, let's go ahead and disband this guy. And should but us hopefully we're not paying as much yeah still losing money because we don't have our army here yet but once we get the army here and then disband the ships uh, then we shouldn't be paying as much so we'll get these guys going over here and then we're going to bring the ships all the way around iberia and we do have some epidemics here the slow fever is moving through our lands at the moment not quite in our capital just yet okay so, mayor is no longer spy master, so we need to go ahead and assign somebody else to the spy master position. We have another, um, oh, we have a baron here who could could do it. He's only 17, though, so he's going to be pissed when I take the position from him if I give it to anybody else, but that's fine. Uh, so, I guess we'll have him continue doing the scheming. Oh, yes, our ships are going excellent. And so we're just waiting for this army here to get to our land so we can disband them. And these guys are asking for a betrothal with us. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. I forgot that we weren't married. Yeah, our husband died. We're only 38. I don't really see any benefit to, to marrying, though. Yeah, I think she'll probably want to keep, keep power for herself. There's no real benefit for her to marry. So she's going to remain a widow. And to span the ships and now we shouldn't be losing money any longer all right excellent so we got all our guys back home um and we did finish the trap door as well excellent uh so we have completed all three of the slots that we're able to get at the moment and can we build the next stage now let's go ahead and start getting the next stage built i don't know if that opens up more slots I guess we'll find out uh so we're gonna start working on the next stage now that we've built all the uh, filled out all the slots uh, and somebody can marry. Our sister can get betrothed to the heir of the Kingdom of Aragon. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and say yes. Let that happen. I forgot we had done that. And they did accept that offer. Excellent. And I want to say that should now allow us... Let me just take a look and see what packs we have here. 
Maybe not. We have to wait until he becomes the king. More than likely. I don't think we can do an alliance yet. No. We just have to wait until the heir becomes king, and then we'll create an alliance with Aragon. Uh, they're quite powerful, and, and uh, I'd like to expand my lands into England again. Uh, though I don't know if we'll do that before the end of the series. Because it really isn't part of the, the initial plan here. We're just going to let this roll for a little bit. Uh, though we could go ahead and find, uh, or go ahead and appoint our son a, a position, give him a county. I think we will go ahead and give him a county uh, so that he can get married uh, without us having to worry about him going off to a new land. Uh, so let's go ahead and have uh, appoint him. Uh, let's give him a landed title. I don't know exactly where I want to give him. I'm thinking Uzinyan. Uh, we could also build a holding there as well. We do have, oh, never mind. Our money is in a terrible place because uh, of that great works. Those great works are expensive, guys. They are expensive. Uh, yeah, we could go ahead and build a castle here if we wanted to. I suppose we will. Let's get another castle going there. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's get another castle going here with our money. And let's see where I want to place, place our son, which lands I want to give him. I uh, could give him that one. Just taking a look at all the options here. I think we'll give him the, the family home here. That would be a good location to to give him. Yeah, let's give him the uh, the province named after us. Uh, oops, my bad. Let to go to our son. Let's give him a landed title. And see if we can find it. Here we go. And we'll include all the lower titles. All right. Give him a position. There we go. Fantastic. So our son is now ruling here, and hopefully he does a good job. Let's go and arrange a marriage for him, see who's all available here. Uh, we want to do it based on rank, and there are n there's nobody now. Interesting. There was a bunch of options last time I looked. Uh, did we lose the opportunity? Perhaps. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what happened to all the... Uh, yeah, they might have all been betrothed. All right, well, maybe I did miss the opportunity. I wanted to finish the crusade, though, so I felt like that was the best option. So at this point, we'd probably want to marry him off to, you know, somebody who's young and more than likely somebody who creates a good, strong alliance uh, with uh, somebody. Let's see if there's anybody available in Aragon. He just has sons. He does have sisters. Uh, she's 32, though. She's 25, so, you know, close to the age. Uh, she's currently in seclusion, and she's got a hard diet adultery. Yeah, she is not a good option uh, for marriage. Oh, she's already married. Never mind. Uh, so, <laughs> she's definitely not a good option for marriage. Um, could do the Latin Empire, since I want to conquer English territory first. Let's see if they got anything available here. Uh, any, and plus he's the emperor, so that could be a nice prestige bonus. Uh... The princess here, she is 27 and not yet married, um, but that's because yes, yeah, she is currently uh, in a theology uh, somewhere. But she's a, I don't know where exactly she is. She is actually, she's a nun. Okay. Uh, so does he have any other daughters? He does not. He has sisters that are all fairly old. Princess Rose is not too old though. She's already betrothed though to the king of Portugal. Uh, let's take a look. There's a. 14 year old here playful greedy slothful we don't really know anything about her though yeah it's just not a lot known about her but I guess that's probably good enough if we wanted to create an alliance with them we could also take a look at Denmark see if uh, they have anything here if he has any daughters he actually does have a daughter here the princess so maybe we'll betroth with her yeah, though, God, our character would be 30, or not 30, uh, excuse me, uh, 26 uh, by the time she was of age. So, hmm, it's fairly old. But I don't think he has any young, no, and plus we can't really see anything about her either, other than she's tim timid and fussy. She does have a very good uh, stewardship rating, though, uh, so there's that. So there are some options available, but none of them are fantastic at this moment. And I kind of want to wait to see if, um, I guess we'll let them age a little bit. See if they get any better. I think that's fine. Yeah, we'll wait a little bit. Wait a couple more years. See how they, uh, 
how they rank up as they as they age. Uh, but essentially, uh, I, I won't go over what the plan is for our, our character here, uh, not just yet. Let me just wait. Uh, but I do have a little plan on what we're gonna do with her, uh, how we're gonna end the the, the series. But that'll be next episode. This episode main goal for this one was to finish up the crusade. You know, get our our son appointed somewhere, uh, and then of course find a decent marriage for him as well. Uh, so we're gonna be looking for, for a marriage for him. I'm just gonna let this fly for a couple years. And oh, nice. Although, are we French? Oh, we are French, okay. And he's now able to carry his duties out as steward again. Uh, we also need a court chaplain. Okay, I didn't see him dying. Uh, let's take a look, and, and everybody loves us in the in the church because of our great uh, ratings here. Uh, so he's a wicked priest. We're not going to appoint him. Uh, he would not be a good choice. Uh, let's place Philip in there, I think. Okay, and let's have him research cultural tech. Make sure that everybody's doing what we want them to do. Uh, probably have him collect taxes. We could always also research the economic tech. Uh, because we are pretty good at money right now. Yeah, let's have them research the economic tech. Uh, fabricating claims. Yeah, we don't really need to fabricate claims right now. All right. Although I would love to attack them. Um, England. Can we attack them now? Let me just take a look. See if that's even an option. Uh, can we take any of their lands here? Let's see what we can declare war for. Uh, we do have some claims. So we could. Get, we do have a claim on that. We would lose 500 prestige for that one, though. Yeah, these do end up losing a bit of, uh, this is the same thing, but let me see here. Uh, this one actually would not. We just get new. Yeah, I think we might do that. Do this one, because I think that's the only thing we can get there anyway, so this one doesn't cost us any prestige. So yeah, we could declare war. Let's just take a look and see at his numbers. He has 20,000 uh, in his army. We currently have 21,000. Uh, though we don't have the alliance with Aragon yet. I don't think we have any allies at this moment to pull in uh, just yet. No, not yet. So it would, it would be a good time to uh, get that marriage going with our, our son or somebody. Let's take a look and see if... Uh, oh, there we go. Now there's some, some options. These are all countesses, though. Uh, and I don't really want... To marry him off to countesses, those are our vassals as well. Yeah, not the options that I'm looking for. All right, let's 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 take a look and see if I want to do this marriage yet. See if I can kind of confirm. She's 11, if anything's changed here, she's affectionate now. Still fussy and timid. I think we're gonna go ahead and arrange the marriage for, for the princess of Denmark. I think that's probably the best option. Uh, an alliance with Denmark would be super helpful and pretty powerful as well. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's arrange an betrothal here. And we cannot betroth her with our son for some reason. Oh, okay, I can't do it that way. Hmm, because yeah, she, he's not in our court. Huh. Okay, I'd have to actually like look. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. <laughs> All right. So let's see if we can't can't find her uh, in here. And how would be the best way to do that? Probably by age, since we know her age. And then we can just kind of find the 11 year olds and then find her through here. I suppose that would be the best way to do it. And then yeah, just look for her Danish. It's not her. I should probably look at what her name is before I go marrying to the wrong, wrong person. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do this. Uh, oops. All right, so, oh, she's my niece as well. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> That's right. Uh, because we have been marrying our our family to them. Our sister is currently married to the king of Denmark. Ah, it's fine. Cousins can marry cousins. Yeah, so we're going to marry our, our sister's daughter to our son. Cousins will get married. Seems fitting for the time period. So let's try and get this marriage with with her. This is that's her name, Magdalena. We might not even be able to arrange a marriage with her because she's the cousin. Uh, I don't know. I think you can marry cousins in the game. I'm not entirely sure, but could be wrong. Uh, but let's let's take a look and see see if we can or not. Uh, so we're looking for 11 year olds, and then we can kind of just hover over them and look for our niece. Maybe the easiest way to do it. Yeah, it might not be an option because she's our cousin. Not entirely sure how that ends up working. 
I thought you could marry cousins. Isn't that a big part of CK2, marrying cousins? It's not an option. Uh, it's definitely not an option for, for marriage. She doesn't have anybody. Uh, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure how, uh, if that's that's the case, it's just because she's a cousin and that's why we can't arrange the marriage. Uh, so that's a bummer. I found somebody that I thought was a good pick and then we can't. Yeah, because we can marry her and she's our, part of our dynasty. Uh, maybe because she's just kinsman. All right, guys, I spent like a good 10 minutes looking for somebody to marry a son off to, and there's really no options. I looked in Scotland, I looked in the HRE, I looked in Denmark, I looked in the Latin Empire, and Aragon, uh, Castile as well. And uh, there's no no options at all. Uh, everybody's betrothed or whatever, so uh, and that's probably why we can't find anything here. Uh, so the really only the choice is this 16-year-old woman here. She's... Uh, the daughter of the former mayor of the Hansa, who's dead now. And that's really the only option. There's nothing else. I mean, she's got decent stats. She's brawny. That could, I think that can be inherited uh, by your children. So maybe we'll be able to create big old physical brawny kids. I don't know. Uh, there's really no other option if we want to get married anytime soon. I don't really want to wait any longer. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this one, I suppose. And at least he'll be married. I don't know if he, I didn't see there if he lost any prestige or whatever he might have uh, for that. The Iron Con. Alright. Oh, Timberlane. Alright, so he's gonna come riding out, destroying some stuff. He was pretty vicious. So I assume he's gonna wreak all kind of havoc over there. That doesn't really affect us much, though. And so, did they get married? I, I didn't see a notification that agreed to it. Yeah, it looks like it worked out fine. So they're married, and hopefully she gets pregnant soon. They start plopping out some children. Uh, and looks like we also need to go ahead and point new council position. Court chaplain did not last long, huh? All right, we already decided we're not doing the wicked priest. Oh, uh, damn. All right, I'm going to do him. It's not all that great, but... Uh, also, do we have plague here? No, not yet. Okay, I don't know if we'll shut the gates or not. Don't know if... That doesn't really seem like something she would do. Uh, during the evil, the evening's council meeting, told us a rumor he encountered, so another one of these damn artifact thingies. I'm not going to do the search. Because they never find it. <laughs> it seems like it's just a waste of time. It's just a bunch of events that pop up. Uh, just kind of waste your time because it never, you never find it. I might have found it one time, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't even feel like that. Alright, so we can go ahead and which which one is it? It just says a technolo technological advance. Looks like we can actually do quite a few of these. So let's go ahead and put into... Which one do we want to do? Oh yes, they changed all these. I completely forgot that these are all changed up here. Uh, so, a little bit different. We can't do castle infrastructure. can do improved keeps. Which would probably be what we want to do. Could also do construction so we can build a little bit quicker. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do the improved keeps. Yeah, we'll, we'll into this one. Uh, as far as cultural advances... Let's take a look here and see which ones we want to do. New tolerance, legalism, though don't really feel like we need to do that one. Let's just do the noble customs. And then, oh, we have another uh, one available. All right, we'll just wait to do that one. Uh, and then over here in the military advances, let's get, I just want to go ahead and do infantry advances. Could always do the siege equipment or the military organization. Uh, let's do, let's take a look here. I'm trying to see where we're at as far as, I suppose it'd be the most beneficial to do something on down here so we can get sieges done a little bit quicker and then the military organization would be helpful too. Yeah, let's do that one. You lose so much, so many of your men to attrition and I feel like that would be pretty useful to get. And she did fill the ambition to be a paragon of virtue. Excellent. All right. She's now known as the Holy. Okay. Uh, more and more fitting for what I want to do with her next episode. Uh, but I'll go over that next episode. You guys will see. Uh, we do the See the Realm Prosper, but I think we are planning on declaring war on England, aren't we? Uh, he now has 29,000 men, though. And I was trying to create an alliance that was not effective. Uh, wasn't, we were not able to create an alliance, unfortunately. So we could wait for... How old is the King Aragon? Let's take a look. He might be pretty young still. Oh, he's 52, but yeah, I don't think his son's going to take over anytime soon, more than likely. He doesn't seem sick or anything. And nah, he seems pretty healthful. It's, he's stressed out a little bit, but yeah, he probably won't die anytime soon. So we won't be able to create the alliance in there, and we'll just have to go to war with England without it. Which could be troublesome, because there are so many troops here. Maybe maybe what would be best is wait for like some type of rebellion or something to happen over there. Just take our time, and we'll just choose the ambition to see the realm prosper. 
Maybe we'll complete it. I doubt we'll wait five years to declare war on them, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, so your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed around the realm. All right, so we now become close friends with the bishop. Because everybody's impressed. Uh, our castle has finished up uh, its construction as well. Fantastic. So that'll give us a new... Uh, new title that we can we can throw out there and let's go ahead and in fact I think that would actually go yeah that actually goes to our son uh, that title I don't know if he has the barony or if he gave it up to somebody already hmm not entirely sure who holds the barony we might actually have it yeah we do we do have the barony so we could go and give that to our son if we wanted to so he can get a little bit more money but he'd probably just end up giving that to somebody uh, so I prefer not to do that. We'll give it to somebody uh, ourselves, more than likely, once we become him. And we don't really need to, because we are still within our limit here. Uh, oh, nice. We're getting prestige because of how, because of our zealousness. And we got a massive recruitment drive. Is there anything I need to be aware of? I don't think so. Alright, we can't be, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. There's no inheritance outside the realm. We're not going to get married. Our character will not. I don't see any reason to do it. So let's go ahead and she could join a society as well to continue getting her prestige up. Uh, I don't know that... Let me just take a look here. Which one would we want to join? We, we joined this one before. Do we want to go ahead and do this one now? Just for a different one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this one definitely fits. Yeah, I think we're going to do that one. Let's do the Dominican order. All right, so we're going to join. Costs a little bit of gold, but that's okay. We have gold to build as well. Build something if we have anything available to build. So let's just take a look uh, across our empire and see if there's anything uh, left to be constructed. I'm sure there's got to be something. Oh, yes, that's not in our hands anymore. Uh, let's take a look here. We could also build another hospital or even add to our hospital. I haven't looked at that in a little while. Uh, so let's take a look and see if there's something we want to add to here. Could do the soup kitchen. Let's see here. Uh, Pilgrim's Inn. Yeah, let's do the Pilgrim's Inn, I think. Yeah, that gives piety and prestige. That's point ten piety. They all get point ten piety. Temple vassal opinion. I guess we want the disease resistance. So we should probably do uh, the soup kitchen. It seems to be the best one. So we'll get the soup kitchen building. That's what we use our money for. In fact, we could still build. Uh, so let's then take a look. That's just the jousting list there. Uh, see what all we might want to construct here. Uh, we checked that one, they didn't have anything. Checked that one, they didn't have nothing. Uh, let's take a look at some of these other ones, see if they have anything to build. No, no sir. Yeah, we might have already built everything in these. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's get ourselves, let's get some barracks. All right. Can't have that money sitting there. It's burning a hole in my damn pocket. A new bird has arrived in the muse and a new book on the art of writing poetry is in the library. Uh, let's do... I don't know. I think she'd be more into falconry. Oh, look at She looks different now. It's a different outfit. Uh, I don't know if she got that when she got the holy name. Perhaps. Let's take her for the hunt. I think that's more fitting for her. The new bird was more aggressive than the ones I'm used to. It killed many rabbits, but was unwilling to relinquish its catch. It even attacked me when I tried to pry one away. Uh, she is far too dangerous, and we become uh, depressed. Or we can then turn to poetry. Oh, so we'll go to poetry so I don't become de depressed. I guess that's better than nothing. And that'll increase our diplomacy. Upper diplomacy is pretty high, 24. That's not bad at all. And we're not even married either. Uh, so we're not getting any benefits of having the spouse. Uh, and one of our children lacks... Okay, our daughter uh, needs to get a focus here. Uh, so she has these two traits here. Make her pretty crappy at, at doing diplomat, uh, diplomacy or, or martial. Uh, let's have her do learning. Like her moms. Uh, we could also arrange a marriage for her as well. She's 12 years old, so a betrothal with somebody to her, maybe an alliance. This may be the way that I can get a better alliance. Uh, yeah, uh, let's take a look and see. I mean, there's the King of England. King of Sweden. How's Sweden looking over there? Eh, it looks like Denmark has been... Eh, they, they've been kind of trading lands, I suppose. Because... Uh, I don't remember what how, how they looked when we started. Uh, the early start, Sweden has all this. I believe. Could be wrong, though. I don't remember how they, they 
they looked when we started though so can't say how they're doing uh, but he's only 17 years old and that would create an alliance with sweden i don't know if he'd actually help in the conflict uh but yeah that, that causes problems because we we're friends with denmark so probably not the best way to do it uh and yeah i'm not really seeing anybody else that's strong we'll probably want to go with like a son of somebody i never actually looked at sons uh so let's take a look uh so we have uh, the Dem Danish king. So let's take a look at his his sons. Maybe we can. Oh yeah, create a. Make sure that we have a a strong alliance with them for a long time. So he is our nephew. So once again, might not be able to arrange the betrothal that I want to. Oh yeah, we can. There we go. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and say yes. We'll marry cousins off to each other. Prince of decadence. All right. So he did agree to it. Excellent. And so. You should have a good strong alliance with Denmark for many, many years to continue. My modest attempt to write poetry was never meant to be published anyway. Uh, so yeah, we can get the, uh, the poet trait, um, which will further increase or actually keep our diplomacy where it is uh, and then give us the same trait opinion. Sure, why not? We'll read poetry to men. They shall love our, our poems. All right, so we did inherit the barony here. Okay. Uh, and that's fine. We'll keep them. Once again, we're not at the limit, so I'm not worried about it at this moment. We can imprison somebody. Oh, Elizabeth. Why would she do? Isn't she our lover? I think she's still our lover, yeah. I don't know exactly what she did. Oh. She's trying to kill. I think that's one of our... Yeah, let's go in and... I mean, we could just ask her to end the plot. But I don't really want... Oh, yeah. We could just break up with her, too. Let's go ahead and um, just tell her to end her plot. I mean, I think arresting her might be <laughs> for the best, though. She ain't having a good life. Uh, but yeah, we'll tell her to end the plot. Which she'll say yes. And then we're going to go ahead and break up with her. She won't be too happy about that. But yeah. We are far too religious to be in a relationship with her at this moment. Uh, I received a letter from my fellow member of the, okay, so this is probably a mission. Will you as a Christian scholar offer me some advice on poetry? Oh, okay, it's one of these events. Um, so yeah, we will, well, I enjoy the metaphors. They seem a little forced. Uh, I am missing the more comforting aspects of faith. Yeah, I think that's probably the best one uh, she would go for. We did complete the soup kitchen and here's the mission. Uh, so allows for sufficient time for contemplation. Ask you to exclude yourself and think about your life and your actions, sort of penance for your sins. Uh, we are not going to do that one. That's how we died last time, <laughs> one of our characters. So we're not going to seclude ourselves. Um, she often speaks in reverence to the wise women of old, saying she wants to be like them. Uh, so we could say she should be kind instead. Or what a lovely child. And then she will gain this trait. Yeah, we'll say that. I was getting, beginning to think the bishop took offense to my comments, but today I received a new draft of his work. I'm surprised to find that his words really speak to me. Scribbled on the margin, I can just make out. I implore you, sister, bear with me. It is not finished. So we, we, we've seen these, these events before. Uh, and say, I think, and I'll treasure it. All right, so that is actually going to be the end of the episode. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to be engaging in what I plan to do for our final final situation here is i have a plan for her, uh what i think she's gonna do here with with her later years in life and uh should be fun should be fun for a finale i felt like we had to go out i didn't want to go out with just like an episode like this where it's like oh you know we built some stuff married a child off and that's it i kind of want to go off with some something kind of fun so i don't know if the next episode will be the finale or if it'll be the one after that because uh, i would like to once again complete what i plan on doing here uh, but yeah, it should be should be interesting. Uh, maybe if it works out well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, so yeah, you have to stay tuned until next episode to find out what we're going to be doing to finish up this series. Uh, but it was a fun series overall. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, so I hope you guys did as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on that next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.